Now, your first alert forecast with meteorologist Patrick Evans. That is a pretty view of downtown Palm Springs. Uh, of course, yesterday, the big pride parade, and we had lots of coverage of it. And it was a perfect day for it, very comfortable, maybe a little on the warm side. We were a few degrees above average today. We will not be. We're at 60 in Palm Springs, 58 in Palm Desert, and 49 in Indio, still deep in the 40s at the east end of the valley. So this morning, the numbers are reflective of a slightly cooler forecast in the offing. We're running anywhere from 1 to 3 degrees cooler in just about every valley city. And that will be reflected in our daytime high temperatures as well. Likely one to three degrees cooler in each valley city today compared to yesterday. A little bit of a northwesterly flow, some onshore winds as a result of a trough off the coast. But over the next couple of days, we're going to see those troughs move through, keeping our temperatures a little suppressed for today and tomorrow. But then on Wednesday, we start to see some offshore winds develop. But today you're going to find some partly cloudy skies lingering all around, especially as you head over toward the coast. And we have another trough of low pressure moving in uh, that will again keep us in the lower 80s tomorrow and take our temperatures down into the 50s and even some 40s overnight tonight as well. Now this morning, if you're headed south, you're going to find a dense fog advisory, some dense fog developing south of the Salton Sea, stretching down toward the uh, 8 freeway. So be aware of that if your travels take you in that direction. Numbers looking great this afternoon. We'll be uh, slowly warming up through the morning hours. By lunchtime, close to 80, 83 is our target high, and then the evening hours, very comfortable as well. The numbers will cool off again for tomorrow morning. We are looking at a high of 83 degrees today. That puts us right at our seasonal average, 84 on Tuesday, and then we warm up modestly. And we'll see those offshore winds. Santa Ana winds will be stronger to our west, but we will notice the temperature increase really starting Wednesday, lasting through Thursday and Friday. Then the numbers curve back down a little bit as those winds back off for Saturday and Sunday. And overnight lows will hover in the upper 50s and low 60s throughout the entire seven days. So really an extremely comfortable week ahead. Good looking stuff, even with those Santa Ana winds coming up midweek. Back with more after the break here on News Channel 3, the desert's news leader.